All right, December means championship high school football. Over the next couple of weeks, we're going to crown champions from the classes all the way from B through 6A. It's going to be a fun couple of weeks. Yeah, this is the best time yeah, of year when it comes to high school football. <laughs> Winning the state title was nothing short of destiny, you might say, for one area football team. Doug Warner has their story and the unbelievable video, and you got to listen really good on this one as well. Remember unbelievable. Okay. Because after this story, you will never forget the word unbelievable. <laughs> You know, two-day practices, years of Little League and Pop Warner football, and countless injuries later, each year only a select few players can ever say they won a state title. But for one Dell City school, it was destiny. Like the wind racing across Oklahoma's true prairies, something else was at play on this very field a couple of weeks ago. That something was destiny disguised as a miracle. We've done a play on words with it all year. Destiny Christian head football coach Rusty Stone used destiny for all it's worth all season. Straight to the Oklahoma Christian School's eight-man state title game against Community Christian of Norman. Now admittingly, destiny may have actually brought both teams to this game, but this predetermined course of events state title game can only have one winner. Neither team deserved to lose, but, you know, uh, in a championship game, somebody's got to win, and uh, why not us? That's right. <laughs> so the stage was set. After four lead changes and nearly 100 points scored in the game, Destiny was finally going to get a chance. But she better hurry up. There were only 12 seconds left. <laughs> Community Christian scores a touchdown and makes the two-point conversion. They're now up 48-47 with only 12 seconds remaining. We kept on hearing the crowd say 12 seconds, 12 seconds. That just gave us hope. But Destiny still had hope, at least if you ask their quarterback, Ryan Hansen. I didn't think that we had uh, much left in us. Tight end, Kyle Lynch. Wide receiver, Gil Davila. And proud parent and videographer, Kirk Maynard. Well, I actually had the best view of the game. From atop the press box, this was Kirk's view of Destiny's miracle, the game's final play. Coach called the play in and we just ran it. It was the first play that popped in my head and I just went with it. Destiny's destined miracle play began innocent enough with a short pass to tight end Kyle Lynch. All the guys just swarmed Kyle when he got the ball and left me wide open. Hanson passes to Lynch, who then lateraled the ball to Davila. I juked this one guy like this and then I stepped on one guy like that. That was gone. Coach Stone calls it the Boise State play. Everyone else calls it the hook and ladder. But fans of destiny are calling it a downright miracle. And Kirk with the video camera. God, he's gonna do it! He scored! And that was when I just, I mean, I totally lost, I lost control. The most unbelievable play ever! Whatever was coming to my head at the time, but unbelievable, the most incredible play ever. But for the fans who actually stayed until the very end. Pretty much everybody thought the game was over. My uncle had already left. They witnessed their destiny. Unbelievable! His uncle left the game. All right. Christmas uh, present, but Christmas it was, present. Give uncle a copy of this, this story, story you've just done. <laughs> but they said it was, you thought the game was over. It was cold. It was windy as all heck. A lot of folks were just, oh, we got to get out of here and had no idea that that was going to happen. Mm. Final score, 53-48, the first state title ever for Destiny. Not, not quite the same, but my uncle uh, was attending the Saints game and was, ah, we've lost again, was walking down the tunnel when Tom Dempsey kicked the NFL record-breaking record breaking record goal. Breaking oh, field goal. 63 yards. Yeah, he heard the crowd going nuts as he's walking down the ramp, got to his car and found out what he'd missed. And they didn't have sports center back then. <laughs> no, they didn't. He never okay. saw it wow. until years later. I love stories like that, yeah, though. Thanks fun. for sharing it, Doug. We That's appreciate a great it. Christmas gift, though, for the quarterback, yeah. though, to give his uncle a copy of the story you just did. <laughs> this is only the second year, by the way, the team has been called Destiny. The school used to be known as Middell Christian. They're number one. They're known yes, as number they one are. now. All right. All right.